Creating a recognizable and perfectly sized YouTube profile picture is crucial for your channel since it's the one image that represents you and your content across YouTube. A great profile picture can show that you're professional while still revealing a bit of your personality and encourages viewers to explore more of your channel. This is Grace from Kapwing and in this episode of our YouTube channel art series, I'll show you how to make a perfectly sized YouTube profile picture and give you tips and ideas for creating it along the way. Before we jump into actually creating the profile picture, I wanted to just go over a few best practices for YouTube profile pictures. The first one is that you need to be aware of the circular crop. You upload a square image to YouTube, but it automatically will make it a circle. So making sure that you're staying within a circle when you're creating your profile picture is crucial so that everything fits when you're actually uploading it. The second tip is to use white space. You don't want your profile picture to be bleeding over the edges of the circle. You want it to fit comfortably within the circle and be visible and just clear to viewers. And the third best practice is to keep your profile picture consistent with other platforms. So if you have an existing logo or business, you want to make sure that that business is recognizable between YouTube, but also Instagram and Twitter and your other platforms and websites so that when they come to your YouTube channel, they understand that this is a real YouTube channel. It's legitimate. It's yours. Now let's get into actually creating the profile picture. So to get started with creating your YouTube profile picture, click the first link in the description below to get to the template. And this is it here. I'm going to click make it and you're immediately brought into the editor so when you're making your profile picture there are a couple ways you can go one is just to use a regular headshot of yourself another idea is just to use an existing logo you can use something like an illustrated graphic or uh, letters or initials for your logo we have a video dedicated to profile picture ideas and how to make them so if you're interested in that go check it out um, but the first thing I'm going to do is bring in my color palette that I made in the last episode of this of this series And that's just to make sure that I'm maintaining my brand consistency If you save your color palette within your Kapwing projects, you can just click upload and then go to your projects And this is the color palette I made I'm gonna click that and here it is it brings it in and actually duplicated it so but this is the color palette I made now to resize proportionally, I'm going to click lock ratio and then just resize it down and leave it in the corner here so I can use it for the colors, for the color picker, but it's not blocking my view. Awesome. So just to orient you a little bit to this editor, this circle is the safe zone for your profile picture. So when you upload your profile picture, it's going to be a square, but then published on YouTube, it is a circle. So you wanna make sure that anything that you wanna show in your profile picture is within this white space. There are a bunch of things you can do here. You can upload your own images, add text, and search for images within the editor, and even add emojis. And then when you have a, an image layer or text layer you can have uh, you have a lot of other things to do with it on the side here so I'm gonna show an example I'm gonna use a headshot for my channel profile picture and I'm gonna just click upload and find that and you can see that it is already a square but if you want to do things like adjust the lighting and crop it, you can click the photo and then the options are here on the side. So I'm going to first round the corners and lock this ratio so that the picture is a circle. And then to resize proportionally, I'm going to just click the edge and just resize it down. You can use these uh, red lines to make sure that you're centering your photo. One idea is just using this uh, white circle in the background as a border for your picture. And to change the color of that, that circle, right now the layer is locked. So if you click the background, the gray canvas, you can see all the layers in the photo in this project here. And the ellipse is the circle. So right now it's a locked layer, which means we can't edit it. But if we click unlock, now we can do things like change its color. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this eyedropper tool for the fill color of the circle. And whatever you roll over on the canvas will change it to that color. So I'm gonna go over to my palette over here and I'm going to change that color to this tan. 
So if I uploaded this to YouTube right now, as it is, it would just show the my photo and then this border around. Another thing you can do is erase the background of your photo. So it's just your face or you, whatever subject you want in the photo and then the background color. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna click this photo and then click erase on the side here. And I just want to have my face. So I'm gonna erase, either use the magic wand or the freehand erase to drag over the pixels and then delete them with your keyboard. So I'm gonna increase the size here and then just go in and start deleting these pixels. I think this looks pretty good now, so I'm gonna click done. So I had originally resized this down, but I'm going to drag this out again so that it fits the circle. So now my circle, my image is perfectly in the center of the circle, and if I upload it, it will just have this tan background with my photo. I am happy with that. Finish up, I'm gonna click my little palette on the side here and delete that so it doesn't get published with the final image. Once you're ready to upload to YouTube, just click export image. So this is my resulting picture. To get it to YouTube, just first click download to save it to your device. And then I'm gonna head over to my YouTube channel now. So just go to youtube.com. And on the side here, you can see your little profile. Click that and then click your channel. Then once you're here, I'm gonna click customize channel. Now I'm going to click branding. And then this is where you can add your assets. So profile picture, banner, watermark. Uh, we're just doing the logo, the profile picture today. And in future videos, we're gonna be covering the banner and the watermark, so stay tuned for those. But to upload it, just click upload here. Go to the image you just created and then upload that. And you can see that the circle is perfectly within the guidelines. You can resize down if you wanted to, but it's designed to be just uploaded the way it is. Then click done. And now you can see this is what it will look like. You can always change it. So don't worry if it doesn't look the way you want, just go back and make a new one and then upload. But make sure that you click publish at the end here so that it's actually publishing the changes. Awesome, now let's go to the channel to see what it looks like. And there it is, we can see that we have our photo up. So why do I think this is a good profile picture to use for YouTube? To analyze it a little bit, everything is still visible after the circle crop that YouTube places on it and things fit comfortably with white space. Uh, it's simple and effective. I present a smiling face ready to welcome anyone to my channel and the colors I use are on brand and go well together since I had made that color scheme. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel for more content creation tips and tricks. We're always looking for more video ideas, so drop us a comment, let us know your ideas, and we'll see you in the next video.